not the type of world I want to live in. So I told this guy no, I don't believe in what he's doing, and I appreciate it if they didn't message me randomly, ask me to work for them. What kind of job messages you? They don't know anything about you. Let's take a look at the average income for 2011 for a State Farm agent. That amount is $67,000. $67,000 as opposed to Prime America, which is $5,000. That should blow you away. And that should basically, when it hits your mind as a business person, you listen to those statistics. That should be fair warning that that is not a company that you should be spending your time with. Hello there. After publicly asking people on Facebook what their opinion of Primerica Inc. is, I found a lot of the answers kind of differed. Some were in the positive range, some in the negative range. And I think, I think what I kind of wanted to do was dive into the company itself and kind of figure out what it is that gives people the negative aspect on the company Primerica itself. So my personal experience with the company goes approximately 10 years back. A friend of mine messaged me on MSN Messenger telling me he had something very important and extremely cool to show me. So we met up at a local cafe so I could see exactly what it is that he had to show me that was so extremely important and so cool. My friend's trainer at the time, named Alex, asked me a very simple question, what it is that I knew about personal finance, which at the time, at 18 years old, was absolutely nothing. So he gave me information on the company itself and the products that they sold. A very successful company that aimed to teach people how to make and save money and get people out of debt. I didn't get a whole lot of information out of the meeting, but I definitely was intrigued. At this point, all I really knew in life was that I definitely wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to work for myself and no one else. Although I didn't know that much information about the company itself, and even though these two dudes were extremely fresh in the business, I knew one thing was for sure was that I trusted my friend and knew that I was in. Although I used to be a Primerica agent, right now I am currently not. It has actually been years since I've been involved with the business directly. What I wanted to do and my aim for this video was take a more neutral perspective on the company itself and kind of figure out why there's a negative aspect surrounding the company itself. I wanted to answer those questions as to whether Primerica was in fact a scam or a real business. I want to figure out exactly what makes people think Primerica is a scam itself. There's a lot of questions on the company to be answered so keep watching. So, um, you've obviously heard of Primerica before? Heard of Primerica, yeah. Okay, what uh, what do you know about the company? I know, well, they do, like, they're kind of like a financial institution. They do with some kind of investments and life insurance and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I know they're kind of a pyramid scheme company a little bit in certain certain things. So, okay. um, that's why I kind of stayed away from them. Okay, like the overall structure or like... Like pyramid scheme in, in terms of it being a scam, or like you think it might be a legitimate business? It might be legitimate. Okay. Like I mean, they do provide legitimate services, but just how about how they go about it, the whole structure of it, I guess. Yeah, is okay. kind of where you gotta get a certain amount, and then you make off the other people and stuff like that. And it's just uh, hard to actually move around or get anywhere in the business. Okay. I don't think they're completely honest with what okay. they do. Okay. Um, these type of companies where you you have to get a team and make stuff off people, and I don't think those are the most honest people from my experience. So as you can see, based on the people that we interviewed, a lot of people have a few different connotations on what Primerica is, how it works. It seems to me almost as if a lot of people truly don't really understand how the company operates and they're judging very, very quickly based on very little information that they're given. So we do have several questions that need to be answered in this video. Number one, what exactly does Primerica do? Number two, is it a pyramid scam? And what is a pyramid scam? The main concept of Primerica has two sides. You have the business side of things and the client side of things. On the client side, Primerica takes personal finance to a more simplified level. 
a side that pretty much all the books and professionals suggest. What I mean by that is, they sell only products that can be used by the average person or family in the best and most efficient ways possible. They break down finances as if it were a house. They essentially start from the foundation of the home and work their way to the top. In essence, completing your entire financial workup as if it were a brand new house that was being constructed or I guess in their case, rebuilt. They teach the simplicity of having life insurance in the form of term life insurance, which is the most affordable life insurance product available on the market. Term life is what is recommended for every average consumer or middle class family. Any other product is not suitable for the average person. I don't care what any other life insurance agent has to say, they're wrong, period. And this can be backed up by what's known as the theory of decreasing responsibility, which can be best described when a family has most responsibility in the beginning when you have a home and young children. At this point, life insurance is needed to cover any expenses God forbid one of the family members were to pass. As you save and grow your investment portfolios over time, your responsibilities also decrease. Which means at this point, you can now insure yourself using your own assets and since the mortgage should be paid off hypothetically and your children all grown up, there is absolutely no need at this point for life insurance. Primerica was essentially built on the philosophy by Art Williams who took the financial marketplace by storm, replacing all kinds of cash value and permanent types of life insurance. This was, this was my dad gum life. This wasn't any game, game, game. I witnessed this happening to my own mother, where when I was a child, my mother was essentially sold a product called Universal Life Insurance when I was very young. She was sold a policy that cost her $60 a month for $50,000 worth of coverage when in reality she could have purchased a term life insurance policy that would have given her $150,000 worth of coverage for the exact same dollar amount that she was already paying. At 10 years old, what is $50,000 of coverage going to do for me? It would likely pay for probably just a funeral and that's about it. I would literally be left with absolutely nothing. And the kicker is the fact that this policy was in fact sold to her by her own cousin in order to make a higher commission. He even told me this when I confronted him on the fact as to why exactly he would sell her a universal life policy that she didn't need instead of the appropriate term life insurance. This at the time, since I was in the business, turned me into what's known as a crusader. I was ready to change the world. Since you have significantly more information on what they do as a company for their clients, let's talk more about the business perspective and why it gets the rap being known as a pyramid scam. Primerica Inc. is one of the largest financial institutions in North America that utilizes the method of recruiting. With over 100,000 agents across Canada and the United States to date, including hundreds of people who make over six figures a year. Because Primerica recruits, they often get grouped in with other MLM style companies, or in layman's terms, pyramid style companies. This is where the bad rap starts. People say Primerica is a pyramid, but in actuality, every business in the world, in fact, is a pyramid. There is always someone directly at the top earning the most with people working underneath them, managers, supervisors, and then regular employees right at the bottom making the least amount of money. This even occurs in the Roman Catholic Church. You have the priest, the cardinals, the pope. There you go, pyramid. However, even though it is in the shape of a pyramid, does not make it a pyramid scam, which is what a lot of people assume. And I don't think majority of people even realize what a pyramid scam really is. A pyramid scheme or scam can be defined as a form of investment illegal in the US and elsewhere, in which each paying participant recruits two further participants with returns being given to the early participants using money contributed by the later ones. While there is a fee by Primerica to join the company, it in no way goes to anybody above you. That fee covers your education. What do I mean by education? In order to qualify to sell the products that Primerica sells, you do in fact need to be legally educated and licensed in order to sell those products. I would like to emphasize the word legally. You are in fact licensed and educated through your government in order to sell the products of the company. By paying the fee to Primerica, you are enrolling yourself in a 40 hour course which gives you all the required education that you need that you could otherwise get from another school in order to sell those products 
by Primerica, including life insurance and all its related products. With the simple fact that all the company's agents are in fact regulated by the government should be enough proof to prove to you that Primerica's operations are in fact legitimate and legal and not a scam or pyramid scheme or any sort of thing that so many people seem to believe in. But still after realizing that point, people of course are going to continue to go on saying that it is a scam. But the question is why do people think it's a scam? It's simple, the fact that people above you are making money off of your efforts. Well, if you really think about it, so do the bosses at your job and the bosses above them. Doesn't your manager typically make more money than you? Is your manager's salary not dictated based on your performance and your fellow employees' performances? Do you see where I'm going with this? Yes, people in Primerica do make money on your efforts. However, it is not as easy as making the comparison of your job to being in Primerica. In Primerica, you are not classified as an employee. When you sign what's called an independent business application, you essentially sign up to become an independent contractor of the company. You are not an employee of Primerica, you are simply a contractor of Primerica and you are strictly on a commission basis. This essentially means that you are able and given the opportunity to conduct and grow your own business as you see fit in Primerica. You have the opportunity to build a business, however recruiting is absolutely not required. You can still simply just make sales and continue to make money that way even if you choose not to recruit a single person in the business. That's up to you. A lot of people join the company on a part-time basis. This means that they can work only a few hours a week if they choose to, even though they're making significantly less money than other people in the business. However, typically you're only working a few hours in order to make, on average, a few hundred to maybe even a few thousand dollars. Which brings us to the point where I'd like to talk about other people making so much money off of the efforts of others in the company. It may sound weird that a lot of people do make a lot of money off of the efforts of other people, but hear me out. So here's how that works. As an agent of Primerica, you do have the option to recruit other people, if you choose to do so. While not required, you do train these other people in the business, helping them learn and helping them establish their own business and make money, which directly helps benefit themselves, as well as you, the recruiter, and the trainer. Think about this. If you opened up a sporting goods store and you managed to grow your company to such a large size that you could no longer handle the work yourself, of course you would consider hiring other employees who would probably make less money than you to delegate the work to them. But of course, you are generally benefiting based on the efforts of these people. It's essentially the same thing except for the fact that the people you bring into the business have the same opportunity as you. What I mean by that is they can successfully grow their own business within your own organization. So imagine bringing in hundreds if not thousands of people into your own business. Of course you have the opportunity now to make maybe a couple hundred dollars to maybe even ten to twenty thousand dollars off each group of people. Your success in the company is endless, which means of course you can continue to grow your successes by compounding it year after year after year. But just remember that everyone in the business has the exact same opportunity as you. There is one more thing that I want to talk about and the reason why people think it might be a scam. People claim that being in Primerica is almost like a cult-like experience. But let me explain that to you for a second. Positivity is a huge factor in Primerica. Believing in what you're doing, knowing you have an opportunity to change other people's lives and your own, and the simple fact that you're trying much harder to be a happier person. Realistically, when you walk into a Primerica meeting and you notice that a lot of people are kind of hyped up. Well, here's the thing. If everybody was kind of grumpy, sort of like almost at a lot of people's jobs, sort of like office jobs where everybody's always kind of pissed off for whatever reason, would you really want to join those people in business if they were just a bunch of grumpy people? Like, you wouldn't want that. You would much rather something that is way more upbeat and way more positive. And that's why to the outside world, a lot of the times it seems almost like a cult-like experience. But you have to remember that these people are, of course, trying to promote positivity. And why not? Again, like I said, would you want to join somebody who's just frowning all the time? Probably not. Now let's talk about people who are making significant incomes within the company itself. The question arises that why with so many high earners in the company, 
do people still manage to fail? Well, the answer is very simple. Not everyone is going to make it. Motivation has a shelf life. Just like the carton of milk in your fridge, which has an expiration date, motivation also has its own expiration date. Whether you decide to get motivated again or reignite that passion is totally up to you. No one is going to do it for you. The biggest issue why people fail in the company generally is the fact that when people join, they think it's going to be a very easy ride. But you have to remember if it's worth it, it's not going to be easy. You can compare a career in Primerica to that of a professional athlete. Imagine training so hard day in, day out to try and become the next Michael Jordan. Some people just give up on the challenges of having to pass every single hurdle and thing that they experience in the business. Becoming successful in any business, any sport, even Primerica itself is of course always a challenge. So of course the reason why I made this film in the first place was to take a neutral point of view at the business itself. I was hoping to pass on the information that I knew, that I researched, that I learned to point out that Primerica is in fact not a scam. My aim of course is to debunk that entire theory itself. Of course people are allowed to have an opinion and say what they want to say and believe what they want to say. That is totally up to you. Of course, again, it's been years since I've been in the business, and you know what? I totally regret not taking it as far as I could possibly go with Primerica. Things change, things happen in life. I started other businesses that I got involved with and just didn't simply have the time anymore to be involved in the business. And so I've made the conscious decision that I do wish to return. I am gonna obtain my licenses once again in the business because I do believe in the business itself. I believe in the passion and that's why I've decided I'm gonna go back. Whether I decide to stay part-time, go full-time at some point, I don't really know. We'll see what happens. But to me, of course, it's important to believe in what it is that you're doing and to me that is making differences in people's lives. Whether that's one family or one person's life at a time. That's what the whole business is about. You promised me to tell if there's anything haunting you. You leave without saying where you're going or where to. Should I worry that you won't come back? Should I worry that you will forget? My sense is telling me I shouldn't worry and know the truth. Color. Don't listen to anybody that tells you that you can't do it.